now let us solve this problem design dfa to accept the language l is equal to a w a where w is belonging to a plus b whole star in place of plus comma may be given so plus or comma means union operation or in place of parenthesis some curly braces may be given we know about what is w w means uh, word so word is nothing but string a string is represented with the help of w uh, here w means it is a combination of uh, a plus b whole star so a plus b plus means r operator uh, we know about star star means zero or more occurrences so zero occurrences of a is nothing but zero occurrences of a or zero occurrences of b is nothing but epsilon next let us take the next string one occurrence of a is nothing but a one occurrence of b is nothing but b so we may have ab next two occurrences means we will get fourth strings a a a b b a b b if you take three occurrences then totally we will get three strings if you take four occurrences totally we will get 2 power 4 16 strings so likewise we can have a infinite number of strings uh, so this is nothing but the formula for a plus b whole star here sigma mainly contains two symbols so they are a and b now let us see the language l equal to so here what is the language a w a that means the string starts with a and ends with a so in between a and a we can have uh, any number of a's and b's uh, so this is nothing but uh, the language for the strings starting with a ending with a so the problem may be given like that also so dfa that accepts a set of strings starting and ending with a so here the string is starting with a ending with a in between a and a uh, we can have any number of symbols so let we have uh, epsilon symbols zero symbols next string is starting with a ending with a in between a and a we can have a string is starting with a ending with a in between we have let a be a string is starting with a ending with a so in between we can have uh, any number of uh, a's and b's like that okay uh, now let us see uh, let us see the dfa so here the minimum string is a a length of a a is 2 so the total number of states are 2 plus 1 3 states are required so the first state is q naught which is initial state next one is q1 next one is q2 which is the final state so q naught on a goes to q1 next q1 on a goes to q2 next is it dfa no why because dfa means uh, we must use input alphabet symbols on each and every state but on q naught b is not used on q1 b is not used on q2 a b are not used uh, so let us apply b on q naught uh, here can we apply a self loop like this no we can't apply why because here the string is starting with a so if we apply self loop here the string may starts with b also but this is not correct so we can say that if the string is starting with b then it is a invalid string so we have to go to if we apply b on q not we have to go to the dead state so q pi is nothing but dead state dead state or this can also be called as hang state or this can also be called as trap state so on q pi <coughs> if we apply any number of a's and b's then we will be in dead state only we know about dead state from the dead state we don't have any transition to other states so on q naught a and b are applied now we have to apply b on q1 so here string is starting with a ending with a so in between a and a we can have any number of b's so there is no problem but we can't apply a here why because this is dfa on q1 already a is used so we can't apply one more a here why because already it is applied already it is used next on q2 we have to apply a and b here what is the constraint 
every string is ending with a so we can apply the self loop here why because if i apply the self loop here uh, a here with the help of a here then the string is ending with a only so it will be accepted suppose let this uh, now let us apply b here so if we apply b then what we have to do after b we may have a string which ends with a so if we apply b here then go to the previous state that is q1 why because so let us take this string so here after this b we have a here so if we apply b then we will go to q1 state and after that we have a uh, so on q1 we can apply any number of b's and a's so there is no problem so this is the dfa uh, now let's take uh, a string and check whether it is valid or not let us consider this string so q0 on a means q1 next q1 on b means q1 next q1 on a means q2 next q2 on b means we will go to q1 so for this purpose we are going to the backtracking state back state so on q1 if we apply a then we will go to the q2 state which is the final state so we can say that our dfa is correct only uh, so this is the dfa for the language awa so that means string is starting with a and ending with 